Right now, the Education Commissioner is weighing in on the controversy surrounding the permission slips required to attend Black History Month events at some schools in Miami-Dade. Local 10's Hatzel Vela joins us live with the update. Hatzel. So Janice, this is the letter that was addressed to the principal here at the school, comes from the state, is supposed to provide some clarity over an issue that has caused quite the confusion and has grabbed national headlines. The letter written by Ben Gibson, the State Board of Education Chair, is addressed not to the district, the superintendent, or the board, but to the principal of Coral Way K-8 through Center. Gibson's letter says the state rule does require schools to keep parents informed about the extracurricular activities their child is participating in. Obviously, he goes on to say it is wrong to interpret the rule to require parental permission for a student to receive ordinary instruction. The rule Gibson is talking about does talk about parental notification, but it also says district procedures must require signed parent or guardian permission forms. When Local 10 first broke the story, the concern from parents was not that the kids were not being taught African American history, but that these permission slips could possibly keep students from attending events linked to black history or the Holocaust. I had to sign a form for my daughter. School board member Steve Gallen has been vocal and concerned about the permission slips and the district policy behind it. We've caused a great degree of consternation, not only with teachers, We've caused consternation, we've, we've caused chaos, and we've caused confusion with parents. While Gibson says Coral Way K-8 through is the only school with the problem, the story first came to light after a parent at a different school, IPRIP Academy, denounced the practice. The district blames the new policy on state law and the Board of Education rule. The superintendent has publicly said they're seeking clarity from the state. That was wrongly done at that school. Superintendent has been advised. That was the education commissioner pointing the finger right back at the district. We've reached out to the superintendent, hoping to get a response to what he thinks of this letter so far. No response. We should tell you that it is fair to say at this point, the policy remains in place. For now, reporting live from Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.